All right, so you grew up in Boyle Heights, man. Yeah. Tell us, how important is it for you to now see lowriders displayed on such a big screen uh, in front of the world, like in showing the good and the bad of it? I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big thing, man, because uh, me coming from East L.A. Boyle Heights, we grew up in the whole lowrider culture, and it's a big thing. It's a beautiful thing. I've had a couple of lowriders myself, so to see this movie, you know, on the big screen like that, you know, it's like it's just taking it back to the, the 70s when Boulevard Nights, and that's a good thing. A couple lowriders. Describe to us your favorite one. Uh, I mean, I always go with the Cadillacs because that's like my favorite thing. Like I have a, a 79 Fleetwood Cadillac and uh, with 520s, you know, some some uh, old school Danes on there. And, you know, that, that's like my favorite kind of car. Right there. What is uh, the favorite cruising song for you to be in your in your Cadillac to? For me, I'll, I'll take it back to the old school with the homies from A Lighter Shade of Brown, you know, on a Sunday afternoon. That was the ultimate cruising song for us back in the days. <laughs> All right. Uh, back to the movie itself, though. Since it's being displayed on such a broad screen, you know, a lot of people are probably going to develop new interests towards lowriders. Yeah. Um, what is a good way to get started, like, towards just achieving your dream of having one? I mean, basically, just, you know, if you if you if you into cars, if, you, if you're a car fanatic, and even if you're not, Always look for the old school classic cars, you know, Impalas, you know, of course, uh, Cadillacs, uh, anything that has to do, you know, Regals, uh, Cutlass Supremes, you know, like it, cars from the 80s, look into stuff like that, you know, and look, and, and look online, you can see the, uh, different uh, different styles of how to, how to fix up your lowrider, you know. So, and the Cadillac is like the, the car, and then it goes hand in hand in the movie with the artwork and the music, like the artwork specifically, do you think that uh, a Cadillac is kind of naked without it, or would you have your Cadillac with... Uh, your lowrider, sorry, with. Well, I mean, you know, everybody has different uh, different styles and different flavors, so you know, it's to each his own. But I usually like a little bit of pinstripe on my Cadillac, you know. Uh, and how is the scene in East LA now with the lowriders? Is it still going strong? Yeah, you know, uh, recently in the last in the last year, I would say uh, it, it's gotten it's gotten big again. Everybody's meeting up on Whittier Boulevard back in the old school days where they used to hang out. And uh, the only thing, you know, bad problem, like always the cops, you know, tear it up. <laughs> They're afraid something's going to jump, but most of the time everybody's just having a good time. It's all, that's what it's about. That's it's a good about. time.